Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be explaining you a solution to the critical section problem. And in the previous session, I have explained completely about uh, need for the process synchronization. And you people are now aware of uh, the race condition and the critical section problem. So there are various solutions to the critical section problem, as I said in the pre previous session. And basically, we can categorize uh, the solutions into Soft, uh, based on the software mechanism or based on the hardware mechanism. Moreover, there is another way also to categorize the solutions. One uh, category can be all the solutions which are having a busy waiting type. Okay, So the other one quite contradictory to busy waiting will be sleep and wake up. So what is uh, the solution? Mainly we have to come out with a solution to achieve mutual exclusion. So critical section is what it is. It is a section which is which is shared by other processes. It can have what the shared variables, shared resources, shared files. So here we need to check the solutions. The very first condition that a particular solution has to satisfy is mutual exclusion. Suppose if at all we say mutual exclusion is achieved, then mutual exclusion is achieved with busy waiting. So what exactly is busy waiting? I'll tell you. What are the different solutions? Disabling interrupts, lock, strict alternation. You have one more uh, solution using this instruction. It is TSL, test, set and lock. The instruction name is test, set and lock instruction. And the most popular is what the Peterson solution. So these are the different solutions. But we say for all these solutions, first of all, we need to check whether mutual exclusion can be achieved or not. And if achieved, then is uh, why we are calling these solutions as busy waiting. Different solutions are in this manner. The first one in the list is disabling interrupts. The second one is using the lock variable. The third one is strict alternation. You have the test set and lock and finally the Peterson. Now I have put a tick here because I wanted to explain these two solutions first. And then I shall move on to the other uh, solutions that are mentioned here. Now the very first one is using the lock variable. So the code is in this manner. Let me focus on this. See, this is what is the pseudo code using the lock variable. So, this particular code while you are testing the value of the lock variable. Now, exactly, you know, just try to recall the critical section problem. What is that you wanted to see here is suppose if this particular section has got certain lines of code which are shared by other processes as well. So at any point of time, only one process can be in the critical section. Suppose if P0 is in, in the critical section, then P1 cannot enter into the critical section. That is the first condition to satisfy for the critical section problem. And the condition is called as the mutual exclusion. Now, in order to uh, see that whether mutual exclusion is possible or not. So let me write here CS, this is critical section. Here we need to see here, we are making use of a variable called as lock. Okay, lock is a variable which can have only either 0. That means it is a Boolean variable. It can have either value 0 or 1. Only two possibilities are there. Uh, and moreover, as I said in my previous session, all these solutions which are there, you can divide that solution code into three sections. One can be the entry session and the other is called as critical section only and uh, and the next one is the exit section. So in this solution, this statement is included under the exit. Okay, This is the critical section itself. So we are calling it as critical section. Whereas these two lines of code which are here, they come under the entry section. Okay, Entry, critical, exit. Every solution, please remember you should have what? Entry, critical and exit. So before a particular process tries to enter into the critical section, it will carry out certain instructions. What, what instructions it has to execute? It is just trying to inform the other processes that are waiting in to enter into the critical section regarding its interest into its interest to enter into the critical section. So it is simply like taking a permission entering into the critical section and once again performing after it comes out from the critical section it has to once again execute a particular instruction to indicate that it has come out from the critical section. So this is what is the very simple solution here as in when we uh, move on to the different solutions the complexity will slightly increase because 
we have we have seen in the previous session that every solution should satisfy mandatory the two conditions which are called as mutual exclusion and progress and the third one which is bounded weight okay the third uh, condition is called as bounded weight is optional here so let us see this particular solution here the first thing the first statement in the entry section of this is while log not equal to 0 now what we will do is since this is uh, initial value for log let us assign it to 0 fine initial value of log is set to 0 now what does this process now we will take two processes here one is p0 and another is p1 fine so now process p0 wants to enter into the critical section what it will do it will check the value for the log so log variable initially is set to 0 it will check here while log not equal to 0 while log not equal to 0 it is testing here but what it is uh, observing here is log is equal to 0 here what does in the while loop while loops test for log not equal to 0 but here it is 0 so this condition is false here for the while loop and you can see here we have put a semicolon so normally for while loop what is that you are doing while condition true you are writing in the bracket if the condition is true you are having certain set of statements inside the while loop all these statements will get executed and then the statement that is there immediately after the while loop will also get executed in case if the condition is false here for the while loop the control will get immediately what it will get transferred to the statement that is present after the bo body of the loop that means it will skip these statements now these statements are not mentioned here okay it, it is like simply that is why we have put a semicolon here the body of the loop for the while loop is missing if the condition is false it will execute this statement it is as good as telling here if the condition is false it, the control will skip this and it will come to this particular statement which is mentioned after the body of the loop so this statement is here so do not get confused since we have put a semicolon here after the while loop you do not have any instructions present okay, inside the body of the loop or you can say the body of the loop itself is missing. Simply what you have to do is just see if the condition is false, it will be executed. If the condition is true, it will not execute the immediate statement. If the condition is false, it will execute this statement. So now what is that we have observed? Since it is testing now the value for the lock variable, the very first line of code here. So lock is equal to 0 here the condition is lock not equal to 0 no lock is equal to 0 the condition is false so it will set it will change the value of lock here lock it will set it to 1 okay lock is equal to 1 then once it sets it will enter into the critical so let us assume this a process p0 has carried out now at the time of leaving that means when it is coming out from the critical section it will make the value for lock equal to 0 so that if this process p0 comes out so that if any any other process p1 wants to enter into critical section p1 will also run this particular lines of instruction p1 will test while lot lock not equal to 0 no it is equal to 0 the condition becomes false for p1 and it will uh, set the value for lock equal to 1 it will enter into the critical section and now p1 will enter into the critical section at the time of leaving it will set the value of 0 so this way it is happening here quite simple at that any time any point of time whenever a process wants to enter into the critical section it is making the value for log equal to 1 and at the time of leaving the section it is making the value for log equal to 0 so this is what is happening okay fine but our aim is here to check suppose when p0 is in critical section p1 should not be able to enter into critical section whether this particular thing can is happening here we need to test here and that is called as actually if you do not allow any other process to enter into critical section when one particular process is already there then we call it as what mutual exclusion mutual exclusion is achieved so let us see here now let me begin once again with log log equal to 0 initial value fine now we will see whether process p0 okay p0 he wants to enter into the critical section it will check whether log is equal to 0 log is yeah um, in the while loop while log not equal to 0 no log is equal to 0 condition is false if the condition is false what will happen it will it will make the log value to 1 and it will enter into the critical section now p0 is in critical section okay p0 has entered into the critical section at this point let us assume that context switching happened 
Now the charge will go to the next process which is waiting to enter into the critical section. So P1 wants to enter into the critical section. P1 will check while lock, lock not equal to 0, lock is equal to 1 here. Okay, The condition becomes true. That means now P1 cannot enter into the critical section because the condition for the while loop becomes true. When it becomes true, it is what inside the loop only it gets struck here. It is not able to execute the next statement which is log equal to 1. So this way what we have done is we are not making the other process P1 to enter into critical section when P0 is there. So when P0, uh, when P1 got the condition true, it gets struck inside the loop here. It is busy waiting. That's why with these type of solutions, we called it, we called it as we call with the name as busy waiting, mutual exclusion with busy waiting. The other processes, other processes which are trying to enter into the critical section are busy waiting here until the previous process comes out from the critical section. So this is the okay. But one more thing we have to test is just not that we tried, we tried making what context switching happening at this point when the process is in the critical section. Context switching can happen at any point okay, in the process. So we have to see if we do the context switching at some other point still whether the other process cannot enter into the critical section that we need to check. So let us see that part. Okay. So once again what I will do is I will set the value for P log initial value as log value initial value is 0. And now what we will do is we will see this particular process P0 is interested in entering into the critical section. See I am just carrying out with process P0 initially in the very first time. You can start with P1, you can give any other name to the process, start with P0, P1, P2, anything. So here and process P0 wants to enter, it will check this while condition. While lock not equal to 0, no lock is equal to 0. So if lock is equal to 0, the condition becomes false. So the process P0 has executed this line of code. Okay. Now let us do the context switch. Context switch what we have done is we have done at this point. Look here we have done at this point. If we have done at this point and the process goes to and the control goes to the next process P1 here which is interested in checking P1 will start with this particular line of code and P1 will check while, not e while lock not equal to 0, lock is equal to 0. Okay, while lock not equal to 0, lock is equal to 0 here. That means the condition is false for P1 also. The condition is false for P1. P0 has first started trying to enter into the critical section. P0 tested the while loop condition. It got preempted. P1 started its code. P1 tested its while condition. Okay, and P1 while condition became false. So what it will do, it will set, it will, it will immediately execute this code. That means it will set the value for log equal to 1. Then it can enter into the critical section. So now P1 has entered into the critical section. I will write here. P0 was making an attempt, but it got preempted at which point? At this point after completing the log. Now P1 is entering into the critical, has entered into the critical section. P1 got preempted, okay. We will make P1 preempt here. P0 got its char, that means the complete charge went to P0 now. P0 will start what? Continue to execute its remaining instructions. So, at which point it has to start? It will start from this point because it has already executed this. P0 knows that it has to begin from this instruction and it will what it will do is. It will simply set the value of lock. Already the lock value is equal to 1. P0 does not know about that. It only what lock value becomes 1. That means it is like overwriting this lock value. When lock value becomes 1, then P0 can also enter into the critical section. So this time, this particular solution has failed. Only in the first case, when P0 is in the critical section and we tried preempting P0 and made P1, P1 was unable to enter. So we were very happy, yes, mutual exclusion is achieved. But next situation also we need to check. We need to preempt at any point. So we preempted at this point and we tried seeing, but unfortunately, what has happened is P P0 and P1 both can enter into the critical section. So this particular solution is not achieving the mutual exclusion. Okay, is not achieving the mutual exclusion problem. 
so now and a few things about a uh, few features about this is it is a software mechanism implemented in the user mode it is it can be used for more than two processes it is a busy waiting solution the next session i shall explain the test and set instruction the my my aim is to immediately uh, explain this solution so that because you have already learnt about the lock can we improve okay or can we come out with a solution which is trying to solve this problem whatever we faced in which type using the lock variable whether it can be solved in this particular solution that we will be checking in the next session so i request my viewers to like share and subscribe my channel and hope this session is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care